we use maths to make the perfect mince pie? I know that many people of all ages and abilities often think that maths just happens in the classroom. So I like to show that maths is everywhere, especially in food. I'm going to use maths to make the perfect mince pie. I'm going to look at the ratio of filling to pastry. I'm going to show two formulae. So first of all, we have to work out what is the volume of our mince pie. We all know what a mince pie looks like. It kind of looks like that. But as a volume, it's actually a cone with another cone chopped off it, which is called a frustrum. And so we have to take that volume. But for us, we're going to make the mince pie out of two circles of pastry. We're going to call big R the radius of the big pastry and little r the radius of the little pastry. And the big pastry gets turned into a mince pie by kind of squashing it down like that. So the volume of our frustrum shaped mince pie is What we want to do is maximize the volume of our mince pie. And to do that, we use some calculus. That tells us that R needs to be this proportion of big R in our mince pie to get the most possible filling in our pie. Here's how you make the pastry. that's chilling. Now we need to know how much pastry is in our pie. And that's these two circles multiplied by the thickness of the pastry. We all know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. And we multiply by the thickness of the pastry. So the ratio of the mince to the pastry is v divided by p. The ratio of mince to pastry. Let's have a look at my pie moulds and see how they do according to my formula. Because this comes to about 0.54 R. Oh. Mine is only 0.4 R, which means that for that amount of page, I'm not going to get the most possible filling in my pie. So what I should do is I should make the big pastry a little bit smaller. Now we can choose how thick our pastry is going to be. And if we look at this formula, because the thickness is on the bottom of the fraction, if the thickness is bigger, then the answer is going to be smaller. And I want my ratio of mince to be big, so I'm going to make my pastry thin. Well, that's the maths of it. Let's see how they taste. Maths is everywhere and in everything, even in mince pies. Perfect.